Hey, it's me. Today is another episode of good old squishy makeovers. We're just gonna have a real chill squishy makeover day. I got my sweatsuit on. Doesn't this just scream chill? This is how I should do the intro. Hey, it's me. I don't know why I'm saying it's so chill. It's the normal. It's normal. What am I talking about? I think I'm tired. There's smudges on the underside of my shelves. I'm gonna do three squishies today. One of your choice from the last squishy unboxing video. Two, my choice, and three is going to be a wild card surprise. You'll see what I mean by that. <sighs> anyway, let's get into the makeovers, starting with squishy roasting. First up, I've got this cat in a spacesuit. I've received this squishy on multiple occasions, but nobody really cared about it until I opened it in my most recent unboxing, and suddenly, then everyone wants to see this one get a makeover. I'm not a hundred percent on what he's holding. Is it the moon? Is it a meteor? meteoroid, meteorite, whatever. I wish I could just take it away. Give me that, but I think it's here to stay. Also, he's injured. Neck rip alert. On the bright side, it allows for much more mobility. That's kind of creepy, actually. I find it very interesting how the discoloration of the spacesuit follows the seam. How did that happen? Besides that, we have the typical array of rips and tears. I think it's kind of an uninteresting design. I know a lot of you were saying like, how cute this is. I agree, it is cute, but also boring. All right, let's get started. First step, of the makeover is sanding. As always, I'm just going to rough up the foam a little bit to help my paint stick. Now about this thing, pretty sure it's a meteor. It kind of looks like it's got two bug eyes. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna remove all the rest of the uh warts. Delightful. And let's meet our body part donor for today. Hi. Give her a round of applause. It's the last thing she will ever hear. Put your heart into it. I'm not really sure exactly what the goal was here. Kind of just willy-nilly removing body parts. That is not what you want to hear from your surgeon. Well, I'm done with you. You're done. Now I'm just having a grand old time trying on some new body parts. Ooh, I like those feet. So I stuck those on with some glue. I did try various other body parts situations. Let's just stick with the feet. Taking some puppy paint, I'm going to seal those on, patch up some of the cuts that I've made, and I'm also sealing up that neck tear. And now it's dry. That's going to need another coat. So I went over all of that again. There, that's looking good. Now, since this is a space cat, my mind automatically went to one of my pre-existing children, Galacticat, who's also a space cat. Now, Galacticat doesn't normally wear a spacesuit. He's native to the galaxy. That's where he lives. So I decided that this is going to be Galacticat when he's visiting Earth. This is his Earth suit. But it's going to be made of the galaxy so that he doesn't die. Oh my gosh. I'm realizing now that I'm explaining that how dumb it is. Does this make any sense at all? No, but it's gonna look cute, so who cares? Usually creating the galaxy effect is so quick and easy, but this one was giving me a little bit of a struggle. I think because I'm blending a warm salmon pink with a with a cool blue, cool purple, which is making them further from each other on the color wheel, and that's making them fight a little harder. They're harder to blend. Anyway, let's move on. Bringing in that nice bright yellow over the whole face, the ears, and then I, I painted his entire arms as well. I quickly realized how much I hate the look of a sleeveless spacesuit. Sorry, Earth suit. No, but it's made of galaxies, so I feel like I can still call it a spacesuit, even though it has the opposite function of our spacesuits. It really doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Anyway, that looks horrible, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. After many coats of yellow, he's looking pretty good. Switching gears a little bit to address this lump of a creature, I decided to go for dark purple for him so that it wouldn't clash with the color scheme I've already got going on here. Shoot, do I have a meeting today? Tell me I don't. Hmm, all right, whatever. Sorry, just got a notification that I have a meeting right now, but uh, it's not on my calendar, so I guess I don't. Cool story. So the idea for this creature is this is an alien creature, okay, that Galacticat has brought with him from the galaxy. While that first coat is drying, I'm gonna work on Galacticat's classic, ooh, it looks like he's hypnotized by the galaxy, although he lives there, so why would he I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a storyteller here, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this up. There. He is Galactic Hat. Here's a weird thing. I literally just held him in my hand and stared at him for like several minutes. I have no memory of this. I think I became hypnotized myself and I just, I just staring. 
It's happening again. Don't stare at him for too long. Things happen to your brain. Then moving back to the alien, just filling in his eyes, then going back to Galacticat's eyes, I decided the colors weren't popping enough, so I darkened up the purple and the blue, then back to the alien. Ugh, I hate when I'm all jumping back and forth like that. Can I just focus? So he still kind of looks like a meteor, just with feet. A meteor with feet. He's a feetior. <sighs> or you can call him Mr. Feats. Mr. Feats, he's basically a live alien meteor that is insane. Same. He's a unique one. Finally, I went back to add the little stars all over the galaxy suit to really finish off that galaxy look. And here is the final before and after. I think Galacticat just has so much more excitement going on now. Definitely a lot more detailed and interesting. I think it turned out really cool. I love the look of the galaxy and you know, it's great to have Galacticat in the flesh. I can squeeze his little face. Mr. Feats is another story. He's interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd want to be around him. I don't know if I can really trust that face, but Galacticat seems fine with him, so I guess it's all good. Hey, let's take a quick break. You don't mind, do you? You love to see my face. Don't you? Say yes. This video is sponsored by Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play game that you can download using the link right in the description, where you can collect over a thousand different dragons and build your own empire of dragons. Dragon City has actually created a special dragon based on me. Mm. It's a pink dragon holding a paintbrush. Naturally. And it's in a pickle onesie. Oh. And look at the little pickles. In the game, you can collect food, gold, and gems to expand your city and unlock new levels. Breed dragons together to get a new one, then hatch them and feed them so they grow. You can train your dragon and take them to battle. There are PVP modes so that you can fight and destroy your friends. Aww. Friendship. There are also weekly events in order to collect rewards and dragons. In order to get me as a dragon, you can do it in three different ways. One, through a breeding event. Two, purchase it with gems. Or three, playing Puzzle Island. Any new users who download with my link that's in the description will receive a special start pack, 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and 10 gems. So definitely download the game and thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the makeovers. All right, moving on to this squishy. This was my choice, and this one was sent quite a while ago. I just happened upon it when I was looking through my hoard. Let me tell you, I have not felt a squishy this good in a while. So soft and gooey. I do like the colors of this squishy, just not how they're used. They're all just kind of thrown on there. It's random. It just doesn't look like love was put in to where the colors are. I say this after creating a psycho living meteor called Mr. Feats. I do have one major problem problem with this squishy though. This plant thing, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I feel like it's gonna bite me. Why is its mouth open? It bothers me. So let me get to work on this one. First step, a nice sanding. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like putting that to music. It just needed it. Time to get rid of this plant. So I'm gonna try to cleanly cut that away and remove it. It did leave a slightly awkward area behind, but I think I can still work with that. I am gonna keep these leaves. I'm just gonna rearrange them by sticking them on top of the bear's head instead. Yes, that's where they go. And I'll just take some puffy paint to seal the rips, try to cover up the rough patch where I hacked those leaves off and fill any gaps. There we go, that's looking nice. On to the base coat. Boop. It's done. Now, the colors. For the cake, I went with pink. That's the same as the original. I thought this was a makeover, you terrible human being. You're the worst, and we all hate you. Not so fast. We went from bubblegum pink to a dark salmon pink. Okay. I think before it kind of had like a cotton candy vibe, and now I'm switching it to like a fruit vibe. So I went with a light orange for the frosting, which makes for a very interesting color combination that I wouldn't do very often, but I wanted to do something a little different and this was all inspired by the simple movement of the leaves from the hands to the head because now clearly the bear is an orange obviously so i'm painting him accordingly he's an orange bear sitting on a fruitcake or sitting in i guess his body is
is inside of the cake or he does have a body right the cake is strawberry flavored the frosting is orange cream i don't really know what that means it's light orange and then i'm throwing in some little fruit chunks in the cake uh, it makes it look a little bit odd i was hoping painting the leaves in the same green color would make the green chunks look a little less jarring because they are really jumping at you finally i'm adding some simple little details to finish off the orange bear which did not include a mouth poor guy i just thought he looked cute without it here's the transformation the new version it's a bit strange personally i do like it better but i feel like there are going to be a lot of people who actually prefer the original and that's okay i'm not going to cry about that if you want to like the original better and disregard all my hard work like it's trash that's fine in fact i'm super happy with that i think what makes it weird is the fruit chunks they're a little loud i do like the little bear although not quite sure why he's holding his hands like that what are you doing bud now if you are wonderful you may remember squishy makeover number 29 from several months ago at this point in that video i got very caught up on creating winifred and then as a result i needed to create her companion wilfred and then i didn't have time to edit the last squishy that i painted which was this apple squishy so i said that i would just add the apple footage into the next squishy makeover but then the next squishy makeover was all about my custom animal set because of my nail polish gosh this girl talks a lot so it's got pushed off until now and this is that footage from several months ago i'll try to remember what's going on here so yes this is the apple squishy and it's actually a squishy that i bought a really long time ago and i do remember the idea that i had for this squishy at the time so i decided to dig it out and make my old dream come alive it's clearly a very plain and ordinary squishy oh i'm squishing faces into it oh ugh, that's horrible all right let's get into it i went ahead and cut off the little rough seams and then took some sandpaper to it and oh ooh, i'm opening a drawer why am i opening a drawer oh that's right um ignore the child barrettes i grabbed one of my paper sticks from my hoard of paper sticks doesn't everyone have one of those y yeah no this one looks perfect and i'm gonna take that stick and just beat the apple with it no i'm kidding i'm just gonna stab the apple with it oh that's not working okay so let me go ahead and get my scissors out and i'll just cut a little opening oh gross that looks gross then stab the apple again this is uncomfortable and there we go i'll just secure that in place with a little paint and let that dry now we get into the makeover i'm going to take this red apple and paint it are you ready red wow wow not that different, I know, although I did add a little gradient to the bottom to make it a little bit more interesting than before, and I painted the stem in a lighter of a brown to make it a little cuter. Now here's where things go real crazy. I'm adding some chocolate sauce on top of the apple. So this is a candy apple. You know, it's a very simple design idea, but to be fair, this idea does come from a much simpler time, okay? I came up with this idea before I was cutting things up and gluing them together and rearranging them and changing them, and my designs overall were just much more basic so i thought about changing my original idea and doing something more on par with what i currently do but i kind of like the idea of sticking with my original plan for this squishy even though it's so many years later maybe it's sentimental i don't know but it's sweet and then of course it's time for sprinkles <laughs> Beautiful. And here's the before and after. Now the only differences are a stick, some chocolate, and a couple sprinkles. But I do like the additions. It's much more my style. You may notice I didn't place the sprinkles individually. I just kind of tossed them on there. Watching this back, I'm kind of surprised at my past self. How could you? But I must admit, I do kind of like the more natural look of scattering the sprinkles randomly everywhere this time. It almost looks real. All right, and those are the three squishies for today. I feel I feel like this is a very odd mix. I mean, they're all a little bit strange and different than what I normally do in their own little ways. Um, but then as a group, they just look even more strange altogether. <laughs> Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring. Don't forget to download the game using the link below to claim your special start pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.